English playwright John Haywood once said, if you call your troubles experience, and remember, experience develops a latent force within you, you will grow vigorous and happy, no matter how adverse your circumstances might seem. As a young man, tonight's honoree overcame his mother's incarceration, his father's suicide, and a potentially career-ending injury, more than most of us would experience in a lifetime. Disney's Wide World of Sports Spirit Award is presented annually to college football's most inspirational figure. And I got to tell you, folks, tonight's honoree inspires us all with his ability to overcome the most severe adverse circumstances. His ambition and his focus is carrying him to inspiring new heights. He was always um, looking up toward the sky. We have engine start, two, one, zero. We have ignition and we have liftoff. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Zerbin Singleton, United States Naval Academy. And it is my dream and will to become an astronaut. A dream that could have easily remained just a dream. Most of the time it used to be just me and my mom. Sometimes we might, she might have a, a boyfriend that we stayed with. And uh, I mean, sometimes I used to, uh, I mean, I used to see different things like uh, domestic violence and that was, that was kind of a hurtful thing, especially when you're so young and you want to protect your mom, but you can't really do anything because you're, you're so little. And I mean, I, I used to see uh, drugs and things and um, how, how it affected my mom. I explained early on because I felt that um, in his environment, he knew that there were things that was going on that was bad and I always wanted to make him understand that no matter what is happening, um, you must stay focused and you must do your very best. So at the age of 11, with his dream of becoming an astronaut in mind, Singleton left Alaska and moved to Georgia with Lorraine and Kerry Hall. It's kind of like the wind, you know. He, he'll say he wants to do something before you know it, he's in the middle of it already. And you just kind of wonder, you know, how did, how did he do it? When I set goals, I plan to accomplish them through pretty much whatever I have to go through. Nothing's really gonna stop me with myself. A week before high school graduation, Singleton was hit by a drunk driver and broke his collarbone, leaving him unsure about his future at the U.S. Naval Academy. I didn't know about the Naval Academy if I would still go or not after they had disqualified me, but I knew I was still pursuing my dream of being an astronaut. Singleton headed to Georgia Tech, majored in aerospace engineering, and made the scout football team, only to be cut a year later. It hurt pretty bad. And, but uh, I mean, I wasn't going to let that deter me from what I wanted to do. And I felt that that was my sign from, from God to go ahead and go to the Naval Academy. Even at that point, you think, well, this kid's going to Tech. He'll just go ahead and finish his career at Tech and get his degree. And then, you know, there he is again. He, you know, he's right back. He's ready to go to Cleve Summer. He shows up and tries out. And gosh, the rest is sort of history. The first time I saw him when he came out for football, he probably weighed about 150 pounds. And, I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking there's no way he's going to last. Through his perseverance and hard work and determination, he's become one of our better players on the football team. Adversity is just an obstacle. Don't let it stand in the way of achieving your dreams. During his time at the Naval Academy, Singleton was faced with yet another obstacle. His father, whom he had just started a relationship with, committed suicide. Deep down, it probably hurt, but you would have never known. You know, just, just the way he carries himself and just focuses in on the things that he's trying to get accomplished. It almost looks like that it drove him to keep going. The fact that he has been uh, challenged uh, in his life so uh, greatly, and yet he still manages to focus, to compartmentalize, um, and uh, to ensure that he succeeds at whatever it is that he wants to do. Singleton has managed to persevere through obstacles at all stages of life, but one of his greatest accomplishments is being able to balance football and aerospace engineering while attending the United States Naval Academy. In May, I will graduate in aerospace engineering and be one step closer to my dream. Imagine the kid when he was 10, 11 years old and he's living with his mom in Alaska and whoever would have thought the guy would even have an opportunity to go to college, go to the Naval Academy, 
uh, play Division I football. That probably would, was the furthest thing from people's minds that he knew. If I had the courage that he had, I would, even be, I would be a better person myself. Than he just, he amazes me. You know? He's the guy that, that helps you hold on to that hope that heart still matters. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my extreme pleasure to present to you the 2007 Disney's Wide World of Sports Spirit Award to Brigade Commander, U.S. Naval Academy, Zervin Singleton. Congratulations. Through it all, who was it or what was it that, that kept you going and, and kept you believing? I think my main thing is uh, just my faith in God. And I mean, had a lot of role models. I mean, my uh, parents and everything that were with me, uh, extended family, they just kept me on my way. A long, tough journey, but, but really a storybook end. You've been mostly a special teams guy and a blocker, but you have your 100-yard game and your final game in Annapolis, touchdown against Army, touchdown against Notre Dame, and you're part of that midshipman team that finally ends at that 43-year-old drought beating Notre Dame. What did it mean to do that? I mean, it's just a great feeling, and I mean, the brotherhood that we have just as a Navy football team, somebody I'll have for the rest of my life. Goes by quick. One more game. Utah on the Poinsettia Bowl just in, what, 12 days from now. Then you get, what, marine pilot training, the space program. What is it specifically that you imagine for yourself in your future? I mean, the limits, the sky's the limits. Have you, do you have something in your mind, though, in, in the space program that you'd like to be doing? I mean, I just want to go out of space, uh, maybe Mars or something, play for a little football up there. <laughs> you know what? Dreaming big has worked out for you so far. So football on Mars, uh, if, you could, if you could imagine it, you, you've made it happen. So we wish you the best. Thank you. Zerbin Singleton, folks, wish you the best. We're very proud of you. Disney Wild World Sports Spirit Award. Well done.